Hey, what's good, YouTube? Native Mask Collector. Um, just here with a quick shoe review. And it's, uh, it's got from Nike, came in today. Um, I haven't bought a pair of shoes in a long time. And, but these came on sale and I just could not stop myself from buying them. Um, and they're not even shoes I can really wear. They're, they're golf shoes. <clears throat> um, I haven't golfed in a couple years, mainly since my daughter was born and just haven't had time. And I also suck at it. I like doing it, but I stink at it. But this might make me just want to go out and play a little bit. <clears throat> so, just got them in from Nike. Stuff out of the way here. And they are Jordan Retro White Cement Fours. These are sick. So I yeah, I haven't golfed in forever, but my friends always trying to get me to substitute on their teams or, or whatnot, but yeah, I'm I'm no good. No good at it. But um, I saw these were going up for sale just by just by luck really and um I was able to get a pair and I actually got a pair of fifteens. I'm usually I'm kind of between a 14 and a 15. Um, they don't make 14 and a halves really for anything. So the 14s were sold out pretty quick. So I jumped on the uh, the 15s and I was able to get a pair. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, but uh, yeah, these are, these are pretty sick. Um, it just has the jump man on the back. It's not a, uh, um, Nike Air tab, but I could buy tabs and um, swap them out if I wanted to. Um, it does have a different material here, like on the actual basketball shoe, this is more of a rubber, um, kind of a more textured type of uh, midsole product. And this one here is pretty slick. You can see the shine on it. But I mean, everything else looks totally exactly the same. Um, the leather feels kind of tough, a little bit tougher than the actual Retro 4s that came out in 2016. Um, the la latest run of them anyways, I actually had two pairs of those. I sold them um, on StockX for like 400 bucks a pair. I just couldn't, you know, it's like, go ahead and sell them. I hardly even wear them anyways. So I bought some used pairs off of eBay and I'm gonna clean them up and repaint them. But um, the sole resembles the actual, you know, basketball shoe a little bit. It's got a icy clear heel and toe box area. Um, it's also pretty translucent all the way through until you get to the uh, the midsole part of the, of the sole there. You can kind of see the, the outline there of it but uh yeah they're pretty sick i tried to get the uh well they released like the jordan threes or the fives recently as well as golf shoes but um craftsmanship on this is kind of shoddy it's got some like either glue residue or just melted sole right there uh, the paint job is pretty shitty, as you can see by the uh, the white part. That's the bad thing about paint versus an actual molded piece of plastic. Um, the paint's going to chip off or definitely show at some point, but that's okay. Um, we'll see how they fit. 
if they're too big, I might just, uh, might actually just sell them. Um, because again, I don't golf that much and spending 220 bucks on a pair of golf shoes that I'd, I probably won't even wear. Um, it's probably not the smartest thing in the world to do, but uh, I had to see them and check them out and try them on. And then um, I think Nike has a new return policy where you have to return them back in like 45 days or less, I think. But um, after kind of seeing the craftsmanship on these, I'm not really impressed by it, you know? I mean, the uppers look, look fine and everything, but the soles are just kind of, uh, you know, thrown together. Some paint splatter over here. There, we got that off. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, they're pretty sick, but again, 220 bucks for a pair of golf shoes that I don't really even golf anymore. It's kind of stupid to do, but I wanted to see them in person and try them on and just to kind of check them out. So, um, if anything, I can just unscrew the cleats and just wear them as regular shoes <laughs> or, uh, remove the, the midsole and, uh, put them on some regular soles. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thanks for checking out the video. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, thumbs up, or dislike it with a thumbs down, and hit the bell for notifications on my next video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.